You left home to hang with some groovy cats like Bernie McGann and George Giddos. How hip were those cats to hang with? Oh yeah, they were they were they were the hippiest they were the hippiest people in town, you know, like he used to call everybody, oh, I really dig that cat, you know, and that was his sort of talk because he was a jazz musician, you know. So I was introduced to, you know, besides all the straightness that I'd lived with all my life, I was introduced to people that were sort of more hip, more outgoing, more sort of freelance, more sort of with it, you know, more open-minded, you know, and... I cottoned onto them straight away and and the funny thing was that I was really good friends with Terry, my school teacher, who who who, who I knew till he died, you know, just lately. But um he uh him and Bernie McGann, I'd introduced them and Bernie McGann um uh had friends that come to Bunduna and loved it and they got a little huts and I introduced them to to the um the Hamels and the Hamels and the McGanns and and Ziggy and Marge would hang together and me and Diane, my girlfriend, we'd hang together and and a few of my friends and we'd end up having parties of about thirty or forty of us, you know, and it, it become a real um a real sort of us smokers and groovers and people that like music were the first ones in Bandina, you know, that went away from the straight scene, you know. And and then vegetarianism started. I was the very, probably the first vegetarian in the whole town because I was vegetarian before Terry and Pam, any of them. Uh, they all become vegetarian. But... Um, yeah, when I was young, we had a very, um, a, a very uh, sort of um, uh, hit. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, uh, a real sort of uh, click. You know, we had a real click group. You know, we had a party once when I went to Bali, and. The Zig and Marge brought their own home ground. I had powdered Buddha from my Buddha sticks, a big bag of it, and I threw that in. And and someone had hash, and and we just played really loud music over the gun, right over the she top had of Gunny Cliff there, and in, the morning, there wasn't in this little hut beer. that was there before they built a house. Stitchy was renting it, and we had the party there. He said the next morning he woke up, he said there wasn't one beer can at the party, not one. Not one person had a beer. It's the only party I've ever been to where nobody drank. You know, that's how different we all were. And it, was so, it was so good, you know. All the McGann's and the Hamels and Zig and Marge and myself and, and other people. Stoichi, no one drank. It's me, Johnny. I'm home.